Hi, um, my name is Raymond Kim, who lives in Hawaii in U.S. And I have a 13 years old son who had an accident in um, shallow water diving in, be in the beach. And it was an accident and he, um, he was paralyzed below his shoulder. In September, we had uh, we came to this hospital to have my son stem cell treatment, and since that time, he had two stem cell treatments. And after that, he was he was able to move his tricep and bicep, and he could feel his feeling is coming down to his chest, and uh, it was really exciting to see him move his arms now. Well, um, when we came to Korea for his stem cell treatment, I'm really excited to see him get better and better every day. And especially stem cell treatment was really helping him. You know, within this short time of uh, sh period, his health condition has been really imp improved a lot. And after some more stem cell treatment, I really expect him to walk his own, and I want to put him on. Um, I'm really excited to see him having a full recovery from that stem cell treatment. Julia, yeah. try one more time, okay? Just try to rotate it. That's good. Can you move it back on the opposite side? That's good. Okay, just one more time. Okay, rotate it. Good. Put it back on the right side again, okay? Okay, that's very good. <clears throat> now we'll try to move it. That's very good, okay? Just one more time. Can you extend it? That's very nice. Okay, just one more time. Okay, that's very good. Can you feel, feel me touching you? No, not really. Okay, now could you try to move your left hand? Julian is a 13-year-old patient uh, who became quadriplegic after an accident back in July 2011. Uh, he has been diagnosed as multiple cervical spine fractures and also quadriplegia due to the fracture. Uh, even though he underwent an immediate surgery right after the accident, you know, he was still quadriplegic after the surgery. Uh, he has admitted to our center in order to receive stem cell therapies on September 2011, which was about two months after the accident. Initially, Julian had no sensors left below the level of his nipples, and he was completely quadriplegic below his neck. Uh, minimal twiggles on his both great toes were the only motor responses he was showing. Uh, after admission, he, was, he underwent two peripheral blood uh, stem cell collecting procedures, and those cells were injected back into his bloodstreams without any multi multiplications. Uh, even though the amount of stem cells we injected by peripheral blood collection was kind of similar to the amount we use at bone, mar bone marrow transplantations, which is definitely not a large amount of stem cells. Uh, after two procedures, Julian is now showing as much movements as you see right now on the screen. Uh, he can extend his elbows on his own, and he can pronate his forearm himself. Uh, even though he cannot voluntarily move his lower limbs yet, you know, he's showing kind of reflexes to uh, external stimulus, which is also a great improvement compared to, compared to his initial uh, conditions. Uh, after stem cell injections, uh, Julian is showing improvement in motor responses much faster than we expected. And as we have only used, it, uh, used a limited amount of stem cells yet, when we can get able to give him some more concentrated and more, much more larger amounts of stem cells after multi multiplication, uh, we are expecting much more improvement from now on. Uh, we believe that he will gain more power on his limbs and more and more after the procedures uh, we are planning to do. And hopefully someday he could be able to walk again on his own.